hey what's up guys so today i'm going to teach you guys how to use sketchfab asset library to enhance your product renders in blender 2.9 okay so um i'll be use i'll be showing you guys how i did this scene this scene or this one either one that you can you it's the same scene just different angle so i will show you how i i use the sketchfab library to enhance my render okay so first of all what you need to do is you need to download the sketchfab add-on so you can search right here so go to go to this github uh, site github page and download the file uh, and you can can download it here and after you download the plugin what you need to do you go to blender go to new file and then you go to the ed edit preferences search for the add-ons and install the, the file that you already downloaded so like this I can just do it at least copy the link to the download 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 folder and I can't see that on okay so then I can search for sketchfab and it's 1.30 so it's a new version okay and I can I should remove this old one all right so next what you need to do you need to activate the add-on and you need to log in make sure you have uh, and you have a sketchfab account uh, if you don't have you can uh, register or sign up for free in the sketchfab website so this one is my sketchfab and I only have like a little models that I uploaded okay so after you log in then you can see that there there are many uh, like asset in here and all of these are created by great artists and it can be used for for your for your work daily work it's a creative common attribute so yeah so I want to show you how I did how how I do the scene that um, that I show you just now okay so first of all what you need to do you need to have a image reference so like this one I have a server reference that I I search for and I take this as my main reference ah. so I want to do a scene that looks and feel a little bit like this so you see what we, what we have a uh, we have a table and a tablecloth so this one I, I model it myself so I don't want to show you how I model it so I just append this uh, table from from the scene that I already did okay so this is the so this is the tablecloth now I'm searching for the table so this is the table okay so the location is quite off so I need to fix the position okay now I'm using uh, for for the textures I'm using textures from uh, either CC0 textures or 3D textures that we Yeah, usually I, I search text, uh, for free texture from these two sites or one one more site that you can search for is uh, Texture Heaven. So these three sites have a uh, very good textures in it. Oh, uh, ah, okay. This one, this one, and this one. So my internet is a little bit slow. So yeah, there is a lot of free textures in here in here and in here so just you just search for it 
then you can apply like you usually apply your material so i already have my table so the next thing i need to have is my wall so the wall you can just uh, add a plane and put it here like this okay so now the wall it should be black color so i don't want to model because uh yeah let's say you are a graphic designer and you need to make a realistic 3d mockup and you don't have the time to model everything because if you have to model everything like you see in my scene just now in here if you have to model everything it would take maybe days two days or three days to model everything so uh that's why we use sketchfab this this add-on to to make your work faster to finish your work faster and like usually graphic designers only have like one days or two days job two days to finish your job so like, after so for the wall because i don't want to model i, I just i just append the wall that i already have so I can search for wall okay so this is for my previous scene so uh, just append it okay and put it right here so I, I, I wish I will share with you my uh, final scene my blend file you can find it in my google drive so later if you want to if you want to study my scene you can you can open it uh, and download it from my google drive so this one i will make it as scene 4 okay so after i open this wall what you need to to have next is the the painting so where i get the painting so i just search here in the sketch right on so it's not the correct keyword maybe a uh, picture frame oh maybe canvas let's see yeah all on canvas so you have a uh, several image so this one is what the one that i use so just import the model and wait for a little bit okay now it's done so usually when you import the model you will see like what's the model doesn't appear in your scene so what you need to do you need to open this and select one object here in the outliner then you press uh, wait let me turn on this one so you have to press period in your numpad and it will zoom in to your to the model that you downloaded okay now this model is too big that's why it become it been clipped off so what you need to do the clip start you maybe you need to reduce it to the minimum value the most minimum value and for the maximum value maybe you can put it as a uh, 10,000 maybe I don't know okay so what you, next, you need to do next is this usually for all the sketch fab that models that I download I will I will do this thing because sometimes they are they are the models are uh, 3d scan and it sometimes doesn't really right doesn't doesn't it doesn't works for your scene nah. so what you need to do you need to merge everything so select one and hold shift and left click to the bottom to the last uh, list of your object then press ctrl j to join everything now everything is is in one piece one one object then you need to fix the the pivot point to the center of the object so select the object set origin origin to geometry okay uh, if you want if you want to use the empty then you can use but if you don't want you can just select this object and press alternate p and clear clear and keep transform clear parent so that this empty will not control your object then you can copy this name delete delete the the empty object just now and paste the name here so now what you can do you can press alternate g to put it at the center and scale it down scale it down scale it down okay. until it fits in your wall until the size is correct 
then you can rotate it and place it wherever you want so I, I want to place it near this wall so yeah we'll snap it like that so place it like this so maybe a little bit small, smaller yeah that's good so the next thing that I want to do for this one what you need to check is you need to check the shading so press the shading and you see your notes is like sometimes it's very chaotic so you need to fix your notes first so fix your notes uh, clean it up a little bit uh, so that easier for you to change whatever you want and then if anything everything is fine then you can proceed okay so make sure you save your file so for the next thing that I want to download is you see this scene I want to download the the chair so I what you can do just go to the sketchup and on and search for chair So now as you can see in my scene the chair is white but when I download it the chair is not white it's like brown or something right so what you need what I did was I add a shift a color uh, hue and saturation node I put it here then what I do I just reduce the saturation so everything will be white and I increase the value a little bit, ah, maybe two. Yeah, and then maybe if you want to make it three, you can do anything that you want. So, uh, but I, I remember I put it two. Ah. So yeah, that's why my chair looks white. Okay. So if you satisfy with this, now you, what I did was I just press alternate D and copy the chair to four sides. okay so for the next thing that i want to download is this part so for this part you can search for stoneware jump so you can find this one yeah so this stoneware jump and it have a it have a 273.17 k but it says so it'd be a little bit long to download so we import the model and wait for it ah by the way thanks limerick 3d for uploading this asset it's good it's awesome man and it's done so let's search for the job oh it's, it's over here so okay so the same thing select this and select all, all of this and press ctrl j So you have your, your job. So the last thing that we need is this uh, mark because the all other than that everything is uh, I modeled it myself. Uh, so you can search for the mark coffee mark like that maybe. So this one is this is the one that I use. So 
So after you place your job, guy, uh, sorry, your mark. Then the last thing that you need to do is need to append all the choco jars. So I will be opening my my original scene, which is this one. So I the, I will teach you how I set up the lighting, and then finally is the rendering. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to create to add a camera. So shift A, add camera. So then position your camera accordingly where you want to put it. It's up to you. You can divide your windows into two so that for the left part usually I will use as my camera view. So for the right part, the right part I will use it to to composition to rearrange my object accordingly. So this this is my la, la, my final composition that I want that I want. So the the final thing that we need to do is lighting. So for this light, you just shift A, add lamp, sunlight, light sunlight. Then I set this is my setting. The strength is three. The angle is seven. Um, and I I position it like this so that it, it, so that it will have a long shadow like this. And for the HDRI, I'm using a Kiara interior to K HDR. You can find it over here. Go to HDRI Heaven and search for this name, and you'll find it. And my setting is the rotation is 30 degrees and the strength is one. Then after you set up like this, you what you need to do is render. So to render, just go over here and select Render Engine Cycles because Cycles is more realistic. Um. So this my the sample that I use is one two eight, and I'm using Open Image Denoise. Even though I can use optics, but I like Open Image Denoise results more. Uh, then the performance I'm using Auto Tile Size, so the Blender will set it set up for me the correct tile size that the tile size that I should use. And then the final part is the resolution. So the resolution I'm using 2.5k times 3k. Um, yeah, that's all. Then the last thing that you need to press is render image. And then after you finish your render, originally I get the result is like this. Uh, if you see render, uh, which one? Oh, this one. This is the original render. Is it? Yeah, this one is the original render, and this one is after I edit it. I edit in in Affinity Photo. So when you combine Blender and Photoshop or Blender and Affinity Photo, your work will be pretty great. Uh. So yeah, I think that's all from me. I, I hope you understand what I trying to say or I trying to teach, and I hope I hope that this would help you in your daily works so if you have any questions or um, anything that you want to ask me just ask in the comment section below so yeah if you if you like this video give a like thumbs up and if you don't like it just give a dislike button so that I can learn from the mistakes that I have uh. okay so yeah that's all from me don't forget to subscribe and share if share this video with your friends and yeah see ya thank you very much bye bye